Newcastle 1, Chelsea 0. Uh, usually I, I don't always do fan cams after games unless you know there's not enough people or I've got something to say. Uh, there's a lot to say. There is a lot to say after today. Um, oh. It's weird, man. It's weird. I mean, we, we, we battered these guys 3-0 last season. 3-0. We had a different owner, a different manager, a, a different structure, a structure. And today, we have to try and find some positives. I mean, we didn't concede three, we didn't concede four, but we didn't create anything. We didn't, we didn't have the, the poise. I don't even know. There's no words. How do you describe something which has nothing? How do you describe it? Um, you know, oh, I don't know, man. I, I go to every. I go to pretty much every game, and you know, you see these performances once or twice. You say, okay, okay, but we're seeing these consistently. How many games have we lost, Lewis? How many games have we lost in a row? In, three in a row three games in a row now we cannot criticize Graham Potter for this entirely of course he has a part to play he chooses the teams he chooses the tactics right Bowley doesn't do that the players don't do that Potter's job is to set up the best team to get the best possible results on the pitch and we're not doing it three losses in a row is not good enough but at the same time try and understand the transition that we're going through as I said, new owner, Thomas Tuchel, I, I have to agree with people, I, I, oh man, I wish, I wish Thomas Tuchel were here, but he's not, he's gone, he is gone, and as fans, we have, we have no choice but to accept it and, and back Graham Potter, who is also a superb manager, by the way, but he is not the end product, there is still a way to go for him to improve, and uh, we, we saw it at Brighton, things don't always click straight away sometimes you need to give someone time and you know we're, we're, we're gonna have to do that because worst case scenario we chop managers again do you honestly think that things are gonna get better we've got players like Mendy Kovacic you know potentially saying they want to go elsewhere I don't blame them there is there's no consistency to what what we've had over the past few years Conte, Sari, Lampard, Tuchel, now Potter I mean that's a lot of managers in five years um, so no it's not really a surprise that we lost but it, but it I, I felt that I do feel the need to vent you know I feel the need to vent because people are gonna come at Potter and say this is all on him I don't I don't believe that I don't if you are putting players on the pitch giving players chances you can say what you want about Pulisic you can say what you want about um, Ziyech, oh, they're not getting game time, they're not getting an equal opportunity. They came on, he, he gave Pulisic 45 minutes, we didn't score, we didn't create. Um, and, and to be honest with you, it, it's, it's a great time for the World Cup to come because thank God this nightmare is over. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't want to be fake and swear and blah, 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 but I cannot accept these results consistently with these players I don't even know what I'm saying I'm just blabbering on the players aren't good enough the players aren't good enough full stop that's all that's all I have to say um, we need to make signings in January if we don't then we're in even bigger trouble than we thought Champions League no thank you Europa League doesn't look like it maybe we'll have a trip to the Conference League who knows um, you know, or even still, it might be better for us to not get any European football whatsoever and, and try and rebuild with the little dignity that we have left. Um, because I, I have to say it was embarrassing. Um, but well played, Newcastle. You deserve the result. And uh, yeah, yeah, here we are.